China is dominating the electric vehicle market, including battery manufacturing. More than half of the world's EV batteries are made in China. To make those batteries, Chinese-owned companies have to mine an extraordinary amount of cobalt. And to mine that cobalt, congressional investigations have found Chinese-owned companies are relying on forced labor in the Democratic Republic of the Congo. It's exploitation on steroids. Congressman Chris Smith introduced a bill that, if passed, would ensure cobalt mined with forced labor does not enter the United States. According to the Council on Foreign Relations, more than 70 percent of the world's cobalt is produced in the DRC. The estimates are 25 to 40,000 kids and 200,000 adults uh, who are being horribly abused, beaten, they get sick. Smith's investigations found that 15 of the DRC's 19 cobalt mines are owned wholly or in part by Chinese companies. The child and forced labor problem could get worse. The International Energy Agency predicts demand for cobalt will increase 600 percent by 2040. That's because the metal isn't just used in EV batteries, it's used to make lithium-ion batteries that power smartphones and laptops. China is running all the mines. Um, and, you know, they bought out some of the companies uh, that, that used to do it, uh, and now they're, they're just absolutely cruelly mistreating the workers. It's already illegal to import goods that were made with forced labor. This bill would require the Forced Labor Enforcement Task Force to conduct an investigation into forced labor in cobalt mines and present a strategy to Congress on how to prevent those products from entering the United States. Uh, I mean, these, these are horrible places. It all goes to China, and it all comes back to here and to Europe and elsewhere, Canada, in, in electric vehicles. Smith's bill was approved by the Ways and Means Committee, but still needs to be passed by the full House and the Senate before it can be signed into law. Straight from D.C., I'm Ray Bogan.